Hi, First East. Welcome to uh, our next segment on our aquarium work. I hope you've been busy and having a lot of fun. I'm really excited many of you shared on the Google Doc what kind of creatures you had and things that made your aquarium special. So let me share with you. Um, we have angler fishes, mm, some sharks. Um, this aquarium, somebody has an aquarium that has a tunnel underneath that connects all the tanks. That sounds interesting. Uh, octopi, anchovies, angelfish. Ooh, there's a whale water fountain where water uh, comes out of the spout. Um, I probably where the whale comes uh, out of their blowhole. That looks, sounds cool. Ooh, there's a starfish on one half of the path and seaweed on the other half for this person's. Uh, we have salmon, jellyfish, sharks. Um, ooh, there's a bench. Ooh, there's a doggy door in one of these aquariums. Good thinking. You never know when a dog wants to visit the aquarium. Um, ooh, a walkway, a water fountain shaped like an octopus. Um, there's railings made of real life seashells, a fountain with real life fish. Ooh, lots of walkways. There's a sh more sharks, 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 jellyfish. Lots of sharks in your aquariums. Um, that looks great. A wave door, rainbow banners, rainbow benches, a trail of crabs that pattern the floor. This all sounds great. I can't wait to see pictures of all this. All right, for our next segment here, we are gonna talk money. I know you like to talk money and sales. So uh, hopefully you've kept the other side of this fairly clear. I was able to fold it in half and start thinking about our tickets and our gift shop and our snack bar, all right? So I want you to spend today and part of tomorrow designing this. Um, and then if you want to move on to the part where you're um, talking about pricing. So here I wrote at the top, tickets for my aquarium, it's $1 for kids, $5 for adults. I made a gift shop here. Um, you'll have to think about what would you have at a gift shop? What is something that you always tell, tell your grownups? Can I get that? Can I get that? I did some shark stuffy or shark puppets. I uh, was working on some jellyfish keychains. Get creative with that. Also, what would you sell at your seats at your snack bar? And does it have a catchy name? I just named mine gift shop, but maybe you have a cool name for your gift shop. Toys and more. Um, maybe you have a slogan, come here for some hot gummy food. So think about it, make it as inviting as you can and have lots of great detail. If you get to it, you might wanna start going ahead and entering your numbers and entering what things are gonna cost. And I put this guideline here to really help you if, as the numbers get larger to work with friendlier numbers. So I really ask that everything costs either $1, $2, $5, or $10, all right? So you're gonna decide what your tickets cost. Kids cost, are the kids gonna cost more or less than the adults? Think about what would make sense. Usually do kids cost more or do grownups cost more for things? Or does it depend? Same thing when you're thinking about your snack bar. I chose popcorn was gonna be $2. If I sold a hot dog or a tofu dog, would that be more or less than popcorn? Probably more. If I sold um, a, a string cheese, a cheese stick, would that be more or less than popcorn or would it be about the same? So think about not only what things cost, but what they would cost um, in relation to each other. What, would, what makes sense to cost a little bit more? What makes sense to cost a little bit less? Okay, great. Then you can, and again, so you'll just write that in there. Pop, you write the name of your item and how much it costs. And don't forget that dollar sign. Again, use one, two, five, or 10 um, amounts, dollar amounts. All right, if you get to this tomorrow, great, or Friday, what are two drinks that you're gonna sell at your snack bar? And again, milk I said was $1. Well, maybe that should be more. I don't know, water, is water less or more than milk? Is a juice box less or more? Again, think about what would make sense. And then lastly in the gift shop, three things that I sell at my gift shop. I said keychains would be $5. Well then if keychains are $5, I'm definitely gonna make those shark puppets $10. Because I would think a stuffy would cost more than that. Okay, does that make sense? So fill in your price sheet. Think about some interesting things that you'd wanna sell or eat at your aquarium. And then fill in the prices and then we'll move on from there next time. 
All right, thank you to everyone that filled in the sheet. Remember to keep doing that. That's one way that we share all our fantastic work. And we got to speak with many of you this week that want to share actual photos of your work. The grown-ups are working on that as well. All right, nice to see you all again from afar, and I'll see you back here on the screen very soon. Goodbye.